Hey, this is Pastor Frank. Years ago, I had a lady came up to me and she was a little disgruntled. She had her hands on her hips and said, Pastor Frank, how come you never teach on holiness? And I said, ma'am, I, I think you're mistaken. I teach on holiness all the time. And she said, well, I've never heard you. I said, well, maybe there's a problem in our communication. What's your definition of holiness? And she said, well, following the commandments of God. And I said, oh, there's the problem. I have a different definition of holiness. And she said, what's that? And I said, loving the way Jesus loves. She looked at me very puzzled. So I took her to Romans 13, where it says, love fulfills the whole law. You see, I want you to think about the law. All the law is, is love stated negatively. If I love you, I won't kill you. If I love you, I won't steal from you. If I love you, I wouldn't commit adultery with you. If I love God, I wouldn't put another God before him. The first four commandments are all love centered towards God. The next six are love centered towards man. So all the law is, is love stated negatively. Now that should prompt a question. Why did God do that? Well, it's really very simple. Think about it. In the Garden of Eden, when man ate from the tree and sinned, who did we become separated from? We became separated from God. Now, 1 John chapter 4 tells us God is love. So what we really got separated from was love. So God, in an old covenant economy, could not tell us to love because being separated from God, we didn't know what love was. So we had to put it in the negative. Love is not doing this. Love is not doing that. In a new covenant economy, though, we have the person of God placed back into our lives. The person of love placed back into our lives. And it's really now a very simple ethic, if you will. Love God and love people. Remember, that's what that one gentleman came to Jesus and asked about. He said, what's the greatest commandment? And Jesus said, you're mistaken, sir. There's two. Love God, love people. This sums it up. We don't have to worry about following all these different rules and regulations in a new covenant economy. All we have to really pursue is love. And in the pursuit of love, we will naturally fulfill the law. And in fulfilling the law, we will be living in holiness. Because holiness is loving the way Jesus loves. Have a wonderful day. Bless you in Jesus' name.